Number 286. There are 50 tickets in a lottery in which there is a first and second prize. What is the probability of a man drawing a prize if he owns 5 tickets? So, meron tayong 50 tickets. Meron tayong 2 winners, first and second prizes. Tapos, meron ka daw 5 tickets. Ano ang probability na manalo ka? So, ano ba yung probability of winning? So, meron tayong 2 winning tickets. So, ang probability of winning ng isang ticket ay 2 over 50. So, probability to for 1 ticket. 2 over 50 or 1 over 25. Ngayon, since meron kang 5 tickets, i-multiply mo lang yung probability niya by 5 tickets. Kasi nga meron kang 5 tickets. Ito, probability ng 1 ticket lang to. So, times mo lang to ng 5. So, equal to sa 5 over 25 or 1 fifth. Which is also equal to 0 0.2 or 20%. So, dun sa choices, letter C ang tamang sagot. 20%. Number 287. Roll a pair of dice. What is the probability that the sum of the two numbers is 11? So, meron tayong pair of dice. Tapos, ang required dito, the probability that the sum is 11 kapag tinos mo yung dice. So, ano nga bang probability? Probability is equal to the desired results or desired outcome or desired events. Number of desired events divided by total possible events. So, yung probability, ito yung number of events na na hinahanap mo, divided by yung total events na possible. So, dito, ilan yung desired events? Kailan magkakaroon ng sum na 11? So, ano yung mga possibilities natin? So, dapat, yung dice natin, 5 or 6, tsaka, 6 and 5. So, ito yung mga desired events natin. So, meron tayong 2 desired events. Tapos, yung total events natin. So, ilan ba yung possibilities? So, meron tayong 6 spaces for each dice. 6 numbers. So, 6 times 6, 36. So, 2 over 36, yun yung probability na ang sum natin ay 11. Oh, this is also equal to 1 over 18. Pag sinimplify mo. So, dun sa choices, letter is yung tamang sagot. Number 288. Roll 2 dice once. What is the probability that the sum is 7? Nurit tayo 2 dice, tapos i-roll natin once. So, anong probability that the sum is 7? So, parang kanina, kunin lang natin yung total number of desired events natin. Kailan magiging 7 ang sum ng dice natin? So, kapag 3 and 4, 4 and 3. Ano pa? 6, 1, 1, 6 5, 2 Tsaka 2, 5 So ito yung mga desired outcomes natin Meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 6 desired outcomes Tapos yung total number of events natin ay 36 6 times 6 pa rin So yung probability natin ay 6 over 36 or 1, 6 Doon sa choices, letter A ang tamang sagot. Number 289. In a throw of 2 dice, the probability of obtaining a total of 10 or 12 is blank. So, the same pa rin yung problem. Meron tayong 2 dice, tapos hanapin natin yung probability that the sum is 10 or 12. So, hanapin natin kung ilan yung desired outcomes natin. So, kailan tayo magkakaroon ng sum natin? So, pag 4 and 6... At 6 and 4. Kapag 10 ang sum. 4 and 6, 6, 4, what else? 5, 5. Kapag 12 naman yung desired outcomes natin, ano bang possible? 6, 6 lang. So, ito na yung mga desired outcomes natin. Meron tayong apat na desired outcomes. Tapos, yung total possible events natin, 6 times 6 ulit, 36. So, 4 over 36 is equal to 1 over 9. So, doon sa choices, 
Letter B ang tamang sagot. Number 290. Determine the probability of drawing either a king or a diamond in a single draw from a pack of 52 playing cards. Meron tayong isang deck of cards, tapos bubunot tayo ng isang card. So ano daw yung probability na yung mabunot natin ay king or diamond? So para makuha natin yung probability ng mga yan, i-add lang natin yung probability ng king at probability ng diamond. So yung total na probability natin is equal to, by the way hindi pala add, union. I-union mo yung probability ng king at yung probability ng diamond. So yung total probability natin is equal to probability ng king plus yung probability ng diamond minus probability ng king of diamonds. So bakit minayunasan natin ng probability of king of diamonds? Kasi itong probability of king of diamonds na ulit siya. So, meron siya dito at meron din siya dito. So, ano ba yung probability ng king natin? 4 out of 52, di ba? So, dun sa 4 out of 52 na yon nabilang na doon yung king of diamonds. Tapos, dito ulit, yung probability ng diamond is 13 over 52. So, dun sa 13 na yon nabilang ulit yung king of diamonds. So, ibig sabihin na ulit siya. Ngayon, para matanggal natin yung nadobleng king of diamonds, imaminus natin yung probability ng king of diamonds. So parang pag, for example, sa Venn Diagram, meron kang dalawang subset. Meron kang king at meron kang diamonds. So yung king natin, meron tayong apat at meron tayong 13 na diamonds. Yung king natin is equal to 4. Yung diamonds natin is equal to 13. Kaya lang, meron tayong intersection ng dalawa. Merong, merong parehas na king at diamond. So, nakukuha niyo yung dalawang criteria na yun. Pasok siya sa dalawang circle. So, nandito yung isa na yun. Yung king of diamonds natin. Tapos, ang king natin, meron pa tayong tatlo. At ang diamonds natin, meron pa tayong 12. So, yung total natin, 3 plus 1 plus 12. Hindi 4 plus 13. So, pag pinag-add mo yan, Meron lang tayo 16. Compared dito pag pinag-add mo, meron tayong 17. Kasi na doble yung King of Diamonds. So ganun yung concept ng probability kapag meron tayong intersection ng dalawa. Dapat i-minus natin yung na doble, na doble ang bilang. Kaya ganun yung solution natin dito. Probability ng King plus probability ng Diamond minus yung probability ng King of Diamonds para makansalin na doble dito. So yung probability natin is equal to probability ng king meron tayong 4 out of 52 cards plus yung probability ng diamond meron tayong 13 cards out of 52 minus ilan yung king of diamonds natin isa lang so meron tayong 1 of 52 so ito mag operate lang tayo sa numerators so 4 plus 13 17 minus 1 16 Meron tayong 16 out of 52 probability. So, divisible yung both numerator at denominator ng 4. So, divide natin ito ng 4. Itong 16 magiging 4 at yung 52 magiging 13. So, ang tamang sagot dito ay 4 over 13, which is letter C. Number 291. A card is drawn from a deck of 52 playing cards. Find the probability of drawing a king or a red card. The same concept pa rin sa last problem. Meron tayong deck of 52 cards. Tapos hahanapin natin yung probability of drawing a king or a red card. So the same pa rin. Yung probability natin is equal to yung probability ng king plus yung probability ng red card minus yung probability ng Red King Equal to sa Yung probability ng King natin Meron tayong 4 Kings out of 52 cards Plus Ilan yung Red natin So meron tayong half diba Meron tayong 26 cards Out of 52 cards na Red 
minus, ilan yung red king natin? Meron tayong dalawa. Yung king of hearts, tsaka yung king of diamonds. So, meron tayong 2 over 52. So, 4 plus 26, 30, minus 2, 28. Over 52. Simplify natin. I-divide natin yung both numerator, denominator, ng 4. So, ito magiging 7 over 13. So, based sa choices, uh, compute natin. 7 divided by 13 is equal to 0 0.5385. So, 0 0.5385. Letter B ang tamang sagot. Number 292. A coin is tossed 3 times. What is the probability of getting 3 tails up? So, meron tayong isang coin, toss 3 times. So, ano daw yung probability of 3 tails up? So, meron tayong 3 coin tosses. At yung probability na tails up ay 1 half. Since meron tayong 2 possible outcomes, heads and tails. Tapos yung second toss, 1 half pa rin yung probability na tails. Tapos the same din sa pangatlong toss. So, ito yung mga probability na tails up. So, multiply natin itong mga to para maging 3 tails up. Magiging 1 over 2 raised to 3 ay 8. So, ang tamang sagot dito ay 1 8. Which is letter A. Number 293. The probability of getting at least 2 heads when a coin is tossed 4 times is blank. So, given tayo ng isang coin tossed 4 times. At ang hinahanap natin, probability of getting at least 2 heads. So, ibig sabihin, probability of getting at least 2 heads so ang gusto natin makakuha tayo ng either 2 heads 3 heads or 4 heads so yung probability natin na makakuha ng at least 2 heads ay equal sa sum of these probabilities so yung probability natin na makakuha ng 2 is equal to uh, 4 combination 2 divided by 2 raised to 4 ito yung probability na makakuha tayo ng 2 heads so yung 4 combination of 2, ito yung possible outcomes or possible combinations ng 2 heads from those 4 coin tosses. Tapos itong 2 raised to 4, ito yung total number of possibilities from those 4 coin tosses. Then naman sa probability ng 3 heads, 4 combination 3 over 2 raised to 4. At sa 4 heads naman, P4 is equal to 4 combination 4 divided by 2 raised to 4. So, you add mo lang tong tatlong to. So, 4 combination of 2 plus 4 combination 3 plus 4 combination 4. Tapos, divided by 2 raised to 4. Ito yung common denominator nila. So, 11 over 16. So, dun sa choices, letter A ang tamang sagot. 11 over 16. Number 294. A fair coin is tossed 3 times. What is the probability of getting either 3 heads or 3 tails? So, meron tayong coin tossed 3 times. Tapos, hahanapin natin ano yung probability na yung lalabas ay 3 heads or 3 tails. So, para malaman natin yung probability, dapat i-add natin yung probability ng mga to. Itong dalawang to. So, una yung probability na 3 heads is equal to 1 half raised to 3. Diba? Tapos, yung probability naman na 3 tails the same din. 1 half raised to 3 din. So, i-add mo lang itong dalawang to. 1 8 plus 1 8. So, i-add mo yung dalawang yan. Magiging 2 over 8 or 1 fourth. So, 1 fourth ang tamang sagot, which is letter C. Number 295. The probability of getting a credit in an examination is 1 third. If 3 students are selected at random, what is the probability that at least one of them got a credit? So, given tayo ng probability na ang isang student ay makakuha ng credit, 
Tapos meron tayong 3 students. Tapos ang hinahanap natin, ano yung probability that at least one gets credit? So there are two ways kung paano mo isasolve to. Yung first way, i-add mo yung probability na makakuha ng credit yung isang student plus dalawang students plus probability na makakuha ng, ng credit yung 3 students. So pwede yan. Or pwede rin, kunin mo yung probability na wala kahit isa sa kanila ang makakuha ng credits. Tapos i-minus mo sa 1. So yung probability na hinahanap natin is equal to 1 minus P not or P prime kahit natin dyan. Basta ibig sabihin nito, probability na wala sa kanila ang makuha ng isang credit. So, mas simple to. Kasi isang probability lang isosolve natin. Compared dito, tatlo yung probability na kailangan natin. So, ito yung gawin natin. So, ano yung probability na walang makakuha sa kanila? So, ito yung probability na makakuha ng credit, di ba? So, kung yan ang probability na makakuha ka ng credit, ano yung probability na hindi ka makakuha ng credit? 1 minus 1 third, di ba? So, 2 thirds. 2 thirds ang probability na hindi ka makakuha ng credit. Raise to 3. Yung 3 students ay hindi makakuha ng credits. So, ganun lang kasimple. 1 minus 2 thirds raise to 3. Resolve natin yan. So, 2 thirds raised to 3 is equal to 8 over 27. So, i-minus natin yan sa 1. 1 minus answer is equal to 19 over 27. So, itong 19 over 27, ito yung probability na at least one of them ay makakuha ng credit. 19 over 27, which is letter A.